All right, uh, b equals 4, c equals 8. My expression is b minus c cubed. Awesome. Sounds like a fun problem, doesn't it? Well, all we got to do, guys, is don't make this worse than it has to be. Just take b, plug that in, or just take 4, which is your value of b, plug that in. Then take, and I'm going to put them in parentheses. Take your value of c, which is 8, and plug that in. Okay. And then just follow order of operations. There's nothing, or sorry, so follow the order of operations. So I look inside my first big parenthesis, and now I see what order of operations can I do. Is there parentheses? Yes, there are. Is there anything I can do inside those parentheses? No. Is there any powers or exponents? No. Any multiplication? No. Division? No. Addition? No. Subtraction? Yes. So I don't really need to actually these parentheses. I can just subtract 4 minus 8, which is going to give me a negative 4. Cubed. Now I just go back through order of operations again. Is there parentheses? Yes. Is there anything in this, inside those parentheses I can do? No. I have some powers. Do I have any powers I can use? Yes. Negative 4 cubed. Remember, negative 4 cubed means negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4. All right. So therefore, a negative times a negative is going to give me a positive, but then times a negative is going to leave me a negative number. So negative 4 cubed is going to leave me a negative 64 as you work out the math on your own, right? Yeah.